Hey guys, hopefully everybody's doing well. This is the Tech Guru Louis99, and this is going to be a tutorial to show you how to flash uh, custom recovery on your Android device. So I'm going to flash uh, TWRP. I know that um, um, there's another custom recovery called Clock Walk Mod, but uh, that still works. But um, TWRP is the most popular one. You know, it's being released more, more updated. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with and after that I'm going to root uh, flashing my gist. Now uh, you can, you know, flash Super Su, um, you know, then you have those AP, those one click APKs that you can root on your phones and an app, but that's obsolete unless you have anything under Android version 6.0. So anything higher you pretty much have to you know, use flash uh, to to obtain the root. Okay, so you're gonna need two files. You're gonna need the custom recovery, which is TWRP, and you're gonna need the Magist file for the for the root. So I'm gonna show you. Uh, here is a site where you can get the TWRP custom recovery for your device. Any websites that I show you, I'm gonna have a link down below in the description of the video. So don't worry, just check the description, you will have to use, you see the link for that. So when you're on this site, you click on devices and you click on your make on your phone. So if you have a Samsung, you click on Samsung, you have LG, there's, there's a lot of different phone makes. Right now I have a Motorola G6, so I'm going to go to Motorola. Close out, oh, that's more ad. You're going to scroll down and you're going to look for your Mario number. Now if you don't know what Mario phone is, but you know the make, uh, just go to settings and go to about phone and you get to see what model it is. Mine is the G6, model G6 and I see it here so I'll click this. If I had G6 Plus I'll click on plus. You want to make sure that you get the right uh, custom uh, recovery for your device because if you don't you can break it and in most cases if you're not tech savvy your phone is a brick in other words. Not really but you know if if you know how to f get your stock firmware back on, it's not too bad, but most people, that's kind of a little bit complex. So, it doesn't matter if you click America or Europe. Um, I'm close to America, so I'm going to click on America for, you know, down speed reasons, but wherever you choose. I'm going to click on the latest one on top. Let's close this out a little bit. Let's add. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this. You want to click on this IMG here. Um, don't forget the signature. Just click on this over here. Um, and um, I'm not going to do it because I already downloaded it. But I'm just going through the steps on how, wh you know, where to go to download your file. The second website is going to be uh, Magist Manager. And um, as of today... Um, what is it? October 2nd, 2022, the latest version of Majest is 25.2. But if you see, if you've seen the video later on, um, it might be a different version, so just go for whatever version. The latest version will be, will be different if you watch this video more later. But for now, the latest is 25.2, so that's what I'm going to get. So we're going to go on the uh, card net, and we're going to click on how to download Majest. Um, before it, it will explain a little bit about what it is and why you want to root and the benefits. Um, so if you know if you want to understand more about you know what's the benefits of doing this, you can read on. And if you already know, uh, just click on download my Gist app. I'm not going to click because I already have it. Okay, so you're going to have these two files, my Gist and the custom recovery. So what I want you to do is to right click on the my Gist file. Go to properties. You're gonna you're gonna re you're gonna take out the APK and replace it with ZIP zip. Press enter. It's gonna say um, changing the name extension. It's gonna change the file. You hit yes. You're gonna notice it's gonna change into a zip format. That's what you want because we need to have it in this type of format in order to flash it with the custom recovery. And the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna get. Um, our device. Make sure that you have developer options enabled and USB debugger enabled. And you have all the ABD and fastboot, you know, files. If you don't have that, I 
I have a video on that, so I'll include a link to the video in the description. So right now I'm going to plug in my device. Right now what I'm doing is not really about ADB right now. I'm going to access the fire system so I can transfer this uh, fire to my SD card. So um, I just said, you know, make sure you have USB debugging because you're going to need that next up. Okay, so I switched to file transfer, so I'm waiting for my PC to recognize uh, my phone storage. So it's best to have an SD card for this because once we flash everything over, because we're going to install custom recovery um, and our storage will be encrypted from the stock firmware, we're going to need to uh, do a factory reset. So anything you put in here, you will lose it. So I will back up everything unless you don't care about it. Um, I'm going to go to my SD card because that's not going to be, uh, you know, uh, formatted. Okay, I already have the file here, so you just transfer this to the root of your SD. And then after that, that should be done. Okay, so next up, we're going to go to go to where you install your ABD and fastboot files. I install mine on, on the um, hard disk. Uh, so it would be this PC, ASO, um, program files, A6, and here is uh, where I have all my files. Now forget about a lot of these extra files, you may not have this, this is because of, um, I flashed my stock one recently, so there's a lot more extra files, but if you don't have these files, you don't, don't worry because a lot of these files are from that, uh, from this zip down here that I extracted. Okay, um, so now that I... I have all the ABD files. I have my location. I'm just going to drag my uh, custom recovery and go drag it on the root of this uh, folder. And we're going to just authorize that. Okay, after that, then what we're going to do instead of exiting out, sorry, we're going to go up and we're going to open a uh, command prompt here. Okay, so that was a glitch. Sorry about that. Okay, so there you go. So we have the Magist file on the SD card. So now what we want to do is just make sure that the ADB is working, ADB devices. Okay. There you go, the label, device. So it's, on, it's we can able, we're able to communicate with the phone. So we're going to have it, um, we boot into... Um, what you call uh, recovery mode. So actually, not recovery mode. We're gonna we get to boot it to fast boot mode. So um, some people call it download mode. Um, you know, there's a bunch of names for it, but it will allow us to do fast boot commands so that we can actually flash um, the custom recovery because um, we cannot do it on ADB because ADB mode is when the phone is on you know the, the firmware. So it's a, so it's a secret mode you can call it. So, to get to this mode, normally you kind of hold down, you turn off your device, you hold down a button, and then turn it on, and then you hold one button, maybe volume, you hold the volume down, and you power on, and you wait until it goes to the mode. Um, on some devices, it's different, so the better way to do it is we can use ADB command to actually reboot our device into fast boot mode, so we don't have to go through the process of, you know, pressing buttons and all that nonsense. So, what you're going to do is you're going to type in ADB, Reboot and boot loader. Press enter. Okay, we're gonna wait for the ADB process to start up. Okay, my phone, you, you probably heard that noise. My phone, um, we boot it into boot loader mode. Okay, and then from here, I have these commands kind of on notepad. So, um, this is the name. Sorry about that. Okay, this is the name of my um, of my custom recovery. If you have a different name, you need to erase this portion. I'm going to have both of these uh, commands on the description of the video and replace it with whatever name is your custom recovery. 
So if you rename your custom recovery twrp.img, um, then you just enter twrp.img or whatever you name it. Don't use the same um, name. Don't use the same name as I show here unless your custom recovery have the same exact name. Um, okay, so we're gonna copy the first line. Make sure that the the name of your custom recovery matches with with what's here. And we're going to go back to our command prop. We're going to paste that. We're going to enter that. Okay. And then for the last one, we are going to copy the second code. Make sure that the name of your custom recovery matches what's here. And we're going to paste that. Um. Okay. Oh, okay, hold on, I see my arrow. Sorry about that. It's I have to make sure you have the command correct. Huh. Huh, that's that's weird. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I was missing the dash. I thought that the f the name thing had a dash in it. Okay, sorry about that. That was kind of an error. That's why you have to be careful. That's why you have to make sure you have... You see the dash over... Over here? That's, that's included in the name of the file. And I was doing it without the dash. That's why you were saying you couldn't find it. Because there's no file name that's under this main... Um, you know, location here. Um, okay. So, right now, um... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over to my phone and I'll show you guys uh, what to do next. Alright, so right now um, I'm on the recovery mode um, after doing the fastboot commands and um, it just pretty much reboot recovery mode for you guys if you didn't reboot into recovery mode and you're still stuck on the bootloader. Um, what you want to do is reset your device. You want to hold down the power button until it turns off, and then you want to put it into recovery mode manually, uh, which requires on this phone it will be um, the volume up and the power. Um, because if you don't reboot into recovery, the um, stock firmware recovery is going to override what you just did on the computer. So. When you go into recovery mode again after the phone is on, then um, it will not be the custom recovery. Um, so hopefully I explained that um, simple. All right, so you're gonna be here. So if you have a password and you didn't like, um, like this, I just stock, I just installed stock firmware on this, so it's no password. But if you guys have a password or pin, you enter it here. I don't have one, I'm gonna hit cancel. Okay, so it's going to say I'll modify system um, partition. You're going to hit swipe to allow modifications. Okay, um, so from here, you're going to go to install, set storage, and you're going to select your SD card. And then you got magic over here. Okay, and you swipe to flash. Um, just disregard all this red stuff here um, because um, normally your storage would be um, encrypted so you'd not be able to mount.
Now it says encrypt data, keep force encrypt. Now there's a zip file that you can do and install that would um, remove the force encryption. Um, and that way um, the phone just encrypt um, data every time the phone is on. Um, which, you know, um, it's up to you. Um, I find it's probably better to get removed. I will do a separate video on how to go ahead and do that. Um, the reason why I couldn't, I couldn't do it now was because I was on 9.0 and there was no zip for 9.0. Obviously, this is an 8.0 uh, firmware. I was able to downgrade this because my bootloader is unlocked. But um, I just decided just to go ahead and just finish the video like this. Um, and then I'll just do a separate one on how to remove that. But if you was going to go ahead and remove that, you will flash those zip files before you flash the, the custom recovery. Um, but since I already have um, custom recovery now, um, I can just go back and just, you know, get the zip file and flash it manually. So it's going to take a while. It's going to say a boot image sign, unpacking boot image patching. Now, I do really want to say that um, I have like a stock um, firmware available on my phone and I know how to do it. But for you guys that do not have a stock firmware, um, you don't have the, not stock, you don't have the uh, the firmware on your PC to flash it. It's just best to do a backup because um, doing this kind of stuff a lot of times, um, you can get glitchy, it could not work, and then, you know, your phone will be dead until you can flash it with a stock uh, wow, which is kind of troublesome not really so much for me because uh, i know how to do it but um you know for you guys you'll be a learning curve so it's just best to not even take the risk let's back up your phone and so and so okay. so my phone blew it up so we're gonna go up Yeah, magic's over there. Gonna open it. And hit OK. For some of you, you will just have the app here and you will, you will not need to do this. Um, but if it asks you to update wherever, just go ahead and update it. It shouldn't, be it shouldn't take so long, but... And also, um, to verify that we do have the root, after this finished downloading, I'm just going to hit the browser quick and get a, uh, you can also get on the Play Store, it's called uh, Root Checker. Um, it's just that this phone doesn't have any uh, Google account signed in right now. I don't feel like, you know, stopping the video or not in an account, so I'm just going to go in the browser and get that APK. Um, let's see, maybe I have something else in the process. Okay, there you go, hit thanks. And you're gonna allow from the source and gonna hit back. Okay, install. And there you go. It's updated. So what I'm gonna do now is um I'm just gonna get the app that I told you about so I can you know confirm. You can tell this phone is basically you know stock you know it's, it's been reset because i i um flash a stock recovery a stock wam i mean i'm trying to type why i'm looking at the uh at my phone recording so it's not really a good idea because a lot of times it, you can i mean you guys i guess you guys can say you know if you look for my tv screen and try to type on that you know um all right so i'm on up who down you can go on a lot of these uh websites i'm going to include the link down below to uh to this site in particular but i'm going to go ahead and download it but if you have a google account on your android phone you then you can go in the play store you just go and search um wood checker that's going to be your best bet because then you don't have to go through the nonsense of um going on this site 
continue with hit allow. Okay, it's gonna say um, this file can harm you. Just hit okay. It's not gonna harm you the ways. Anything hack related, um, apparently, it's go it's harmful to to your um device. Some of it can be, but you just have to know what you're installing, pretty much. So now we're just gonna finish restoring in a few seconds. I'm not gonna open it just yet because I have to open Magix and uh, so no, this notification to Magix. So there you go, we got 25.2 installed. Um, you hit settings on the top right corner, you got your theme. You know, you got a lot of these options. Hide the Magix app. So this will, this will help you when you are um, having bank apps and stuff like that. So you can rename um, the, this app a different name so that it doesn't know that it's Magix because some, um, some apps will not allow you to run it if your device is worried so that's that's a helpful feature there's a lot, there's a lot of other features here too hit back just showing you basically you know um some of the features and things like that oh uh, hit power off oh well, that was epic so but but you then you can know you know that you can basically um Then basically, you know, you can turn off your phone from from there, and you can reboot to recovery. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do it again and show you. Um, it's kind of a nice feature through that Magix app. You can boot to recovery, custom, so you don't need to, you know, turn off the phone and hold down buttons and all that nonsense. I mean, I told you how to do that using fast boot, but you know, um, it's a more quicker way. Hello. And it's got that this phone doesn't take that long to boot up. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, let's go back. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to reset the phone. Okay. Okay, make sure I don't do that again. Then I, you can reboot to recovery, boot lawyer, download. So it's pretty helpful. Um, you can install the APK app, but this is pretty much the app in itself. And here's super useful. This is where you grant um, apps permission. And this is locked for like, you know, if, if you're tech savvy and modules here, you can pretty much um, install from storage or you can source them. Um, let's see about installing the app. Install the latest is, yeah, so. I got the layers over here, so there's no need for me to do that. So finally, to get to the end of the video, um, I'm going to use the root tracker to verify that my device is rooted and I can now um, have um, rooted apps. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with rooted phone. Android is pretty much um, free. You know, Freebase is not really locked down, so it's asking me for a request that so I can do forever. I can do one, so only for 10 minutes, I'm going to do forever. And congratulations, my device is worried. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That shows you it. All right. So um, this is a pretty simple co uh, process. Some people may be wanting to issues when it comes to uh, flashing, TWRP and stuff like that. But I'm here for you guys. So if you guys have um, any trouble, any questions, Show a comment down below. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe if you, this video was helpful. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more different videos. Um, I'm gonna do that force encrypt um, stuff if you guys are interested in doing that. Um, I'm gonna try to do some Pokemon Go mining and something like that and installing a lot of these different cool wood apps. Um, one thing you can do with a wood phone is that if your phone is able to do a Wi Fi hotspot, but you don't, uh, you don't add, you don't add a plan. Like you don't have an add-on for the hotspot feature. You can get an app that can bypass that, 
and without even paying extra fee, you can, you know, share your internet. Uh, another quick one is to um, overclock your phone to make it go faster. Or you can underclock it if you feel like, you know, the battery is not having good battery life and you don't really need all that power, you know, all the time. You can do that too. So there's a lot of cool things you can do. Um, so definitely sh um, check out my channel for that. Um, and, you know, again, if you guys have any trouble, any questions, you know, pretty easy. Just shoot a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. All right, take care.